Hey, what's the vibes? It's Sleepy Hollow, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Look, this shit got me trippin' Fightin' with my demons and my demons is winning. I feel like don't nobody ever feel how I feel And I ain't never sober, baby girl Yes, sir, yes, sir We got the one and only Sleepy Hollow Jumping off the porch with us today What's up, yeah, bro? the vibes, gang Man, coolin', bro How you feeling, man? Yeah, I'm sturdy Yes, sir Nah, yeah. I can dig it, man Shit, what, what, what got you in Atlanta right now, man? I've been doing this wild promo run I went to um, North Carolina, South Carolina Florida, Miami no, I'm here in the A. Word, word. Yeah. So just put, putting in that footwork. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, nah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. And shit, man, who, who you got on the porch with you today, oh, These are the guys. I'm my son, Waiters. D3, producer, Ray John, my son, JBZ, my son, Frost, my son, Zach in the cut. Oh, yeah, my son, Snoopy here with me, too. Ah, that's, that's what's up, fact. man. That's a fact. dog. Got Snoop Grace in the porch with us, too, yeah, man. man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Um, how's it important, man, for you to, you know, keep good people around you, man, and keep, like, a good, solid circle around you? Um, honestly, like, if you do got people, like, that's a good thing, because some people don't got nobody. So mm. I feel like if you do got people around you, they got to be solid and on the same, time, same type of time you want type shit. Yeah. So, yeah, mm. that shit definitely important to me. Wow. Yeah, no, I can dig it, man. I mean, it definitely, you know, help keep you grounded, help, you know what I'm saying? Like, just keep you on point. Because, at some, you know, you always need, like, good people to just, you know, shit, tell you, like, when you're doing something wrong or tell yeah. you when you ain't being on point, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I can dig it, man. So, man, bro, like, I mean, I feel like, you know, we long overdue having you on the porch, man. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I mean? Like, we, we definitely long overdue. Want to really tap into your story, man. So... You're originally from Jamaica, right? Yeah, I was born in Jamaica. I came to New York when I was like five. Okay. Yeah. Okay, word. And do you got any memories of Jamaica when you was growing I, up? I ain't gonna lie. I don't really remember shit. I remember like, like going to school, but I don't remember like, I don't know if that shit was dreams or like, <laughs> word, like. Right. Yeah, just little shit. Word, now I can dig it, man. And you from Brooklyn. Yeah, you that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now that's, that's what's up, man. And I mean, you really making a name, you know, for Flatbush. I think, I think before y'all, you know what I mean? Like people might've knew like Busta Rhymes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, representing gangsta. Flatbush. But I mean, y'all really, you know, putting a name for Flatbush. Nah, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. That's big. Now, that's what's up, man. So. Tell us about Flatbush, man. Like, what what is that section of Brooklyn like? You know what I mean? I mean, that is definitely diverse. It's all types of people. So, you gonna like growing up, you gonna get like you gonna learn shit just by like you don't even gotta be in nothing. You learn shit just by walking through the hood, like yeah. regular shit. Like when I go other places, my biggest shit be like getting the corner stores. Like hmm. it ain't like that. When, yeah. you, when you're not in New York, you gotta drive everywhere. Right. That shit. I don't like that shit. Yeah, no, nah, that's real. Cause like, if, if you haven't experienced the bodega, like, damn near every corner, every yeah, other yeah, that corner. Yeah, that's different. You know what I mean? Like, that's a whole different vibe. I mean, even to the point of like, I used to live in New York. I lived in Brooklyn and Crown Heights for a little while. Yeah. So, I remember, you know, waking up in the morning, going downstairs, you know, getting the. You know what I mean? Like an egg and cheese on a roll or, you know what I mean? Like, and just how easy it is and how convenient, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is just to get whatever you want. Whatever nah, you hell need. yeah. Shit right there. Shit probably on your block. Yeah, yeah. nah, for real, for real. So like, what, what was Flatbush like growing up, man? I mean, I feel like... <laughs> Definitely learned a lot of learning. I, I learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And what type of what type of kid was you growing up? Like was um, you? I was, mean, I just, like I wasn't like I tried like the school shit. I tried in school. That shit just wasn't like that shit wasn't clicking. Like I couldn't really sit there. Like I like like I said, I tried mad times. I tried to sit there and like all right, this year I'm gonna try to get my shit right. But it was just never like I always felt the need to be like odd like yeah i don't know that shit wasn't for me though. word word and so like growing up like did you go up with brothers and sisters yeah, like, yeah, yeah i had um i still do i got a, my brother and two sisters okay yeah we all grew up together okay word. Moms. that's what's up man and like in the household like were you the one um were you always like creative thinking outside the box like always yeah, definitely doing always stuff thinking different? outside the box yeah yeah i was like uh, i say like i probably brought the most problems home too though so yeah i was just that kid like yeah where and, and was you into like uh like the arts you know what i'm saying sports like was, was yeah you i was early? playing i used to play ball and i used to draw 
Mm. Yeah, that was my shit growing up. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Word, word. What was like your favorite type of stuff to draw? Like, what was like, anything? Like, the thing like, I draw shit. Like, I could draw some crazy shit, but yeah, I draw that shit one time. I can't redo the shit. I just have uh, to be like, it's a one and done type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was you a cat who like? You could see it and like looking at it, and you could draw it, or you could see it one time. Nah, I gotta look at it. Okay. For me. Yeah. Word. Nah, I could dig it, man. And uh, when would you say you jumped off the porch? <sighs> or I guess in New York, jumped off the stoop? Nah, probably like, like 15. Okay. That's when I was really like outside, outside. Yeah. Canning some shit. Yeah. And why did you feel the need to be outside? Like, what, what, what gravitated you towards being outside back then? I mean, growing up, that's that's what's lit. You outside, you, yeah. I mean, doing those types of shit. Yeah, like, like we felt that was like fun. That's you doing this shit for fun. That's yeah. what we like to do. So that's all it was. And New York, a spot where like, I mean, being outside like is 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 more than just the word. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like cats don't sit in the house. You know what I mean? Like I mean. Shit, it's for real the city that never sleep, you know what I mean? Like, it's always something to do, always a vibe, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, shit, a club or, you know what I mean, or just, just being outside, just with your people, just talking shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's always something. So it's almost like you, you gotta be outside, you know yeah, what I mean? I think mean? so. I, I swear, you gonna find I, everything. You, you don't gotta, you go outside. It's like you could play the block all day. Yeah. I used to be on the block all day, and I was like, that's where everything, that's where I got the money, that's where I found the hoes, that's where everything happened. Like, yeah. So, you ain't really gotta do much, especially when you're young, you ain't gotta do much, but go outside. Right. Find right, your right. friends, and the, the shit gonna find you. Yeah, because shit gonna find you. Right, right. Yeah, you fact. just said it right. Trouble like, it's gonna, gonna find, find you. you. Yeah, yeah no, for sure, for sure. Yeah. You remember, like, some of the early shit you was into when you did jump off the porch? Like, what was some of your. You know what I mean? Like, what was you getting niggas into? Going to the, niggas would walk to the park, niggas would walk to the mall, stealing shit. Yeah, like regular stupid kid shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever, like, jump the uh, turn stop? What is it called? Yeah, the that's turn regular, stop? though. Yeah. Day room if you was swiping that shit. <laughs> niggas would have the card and jump. Yeah. All right, so. That's regular. Word, word. Nah, I can dig it. I can dig it. And, man, when did you, um, when did you really, like, find that you, when did you find your love for music? Like, when did you know oh, that that was something shot, that you wanted like, to do? Like 14, probably. Okay. 14, 13. I was like always writing and shit. Yeah. So, and who was you listening to? Like, who was some of your um, influences, bro? I probably listened to Chance the Rap. Nah, not yet. I wasn't listening to him yet. Probably. At that time, I probably listened to Drake, Kendrick Lamar, shit like that. Um, yeah, a lot of like. Joe, I used to listen to Joey Badass Heavy. Word. Yeah, so like. Yeah. Or, nah, I can uh, dig yeah. it. I can dig it. And so then, uh, when you first started like doing music yourself, was it just you freestyling and you know what I'm saying, like 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 with your partners, or did you actually yeah, like go to, to the we studio? Yeah, we freestyle in the beginning. It was just like it was a joke in the beginning. Yeah, we didn't really think that shit was gonna be for me what it is. But like we freestyle, right? Sitting in the crib together. Like, after we get out of school, do we do bullshit? We end the day in the crib, we writing. Uh, uh-uh. I mean so. Okay. Yeah, definitely how it started. Word. And then when did you actually take it serious and be like, all right, like I'm about to go to the studio, like really put something down. Like the one of your partners here or something? Yeah, it was you? our son, my son Chef. Huh. We went to the studio, some nigga <laughs> crib from the hood. Oh yeah, he wildin'. <laughs> Little ass. Um we went to some studio, somebody crib, trenches, we just recorded our shit. Yeah. Brought that shit back to the guys, played it. Niggas like, nah, bro, y'all niggas, you know I mean? Yeah. So we kept going to that shit. We just kept dropping music. Right. Yeah, just us type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man, free that boy Chef, man. Yeah, that's a um, free bro. Yeah, man, I mean, when I first ever heard of you, you know what I'm saying, it was it was a song with you and him. I, yeah, think, yeah, I think it was yeah. called, like, Disrespect or something yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 that's, you that's, that's yeah, yeah, that's my, shit. Yeah, that's one of my partners heat. from Brooklyn put me up on that, you know what I'm saying, like, early. That was before yeah. the pandemic and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, how'd y'all meet, man? Like, how'd y'all cats, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it's funny because I met, we met through like friends of a friend. Like, his men used to come into my school and shit. Like, I figured he liked that. I just used to always see these niggas. Mind you, I'm, I'm by myself. I'm just going to school. Yeah. I got like, I got friends in the school, but once I step out, them niggas ain't 
that's the school friends. I know once I get out of here, it's me. Right. So. It's me. And I used to come to my school and shit one day. Niggas across the street, they're like, ah, ah. They call my government name. I don't know how niggas on my government name. They call my government name, like, yo, I suck my dick. Ah. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, nah, why do I'm dolly? It's like 10 of these niggas, 12 of these niggas. I'm yeah. like, ah. Right. I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, what's what y'all niggas on? They start crossing the street. I'm probably like 14, 15. So if you I'm with it, but it's like, damn, it's mad at these niggas. So it's one nigga, that's my that's my son. Like, he locked up right now. That's yeah. my heart. He was like, like everybody cross the street. He like, yo, you sure you wanna do this, bro? Like, I just chill, bro. Like, like, niggas is talking all that. Like, I talking some weird shit. I don't even know y'all niggas. Like, what y'all niggas on? Yeah. He asked me, like, yo, bro, you sure? Like, <laughs> so you feel me? I'm like, man, fuck this nigga. <laughs> he like, yo, bro, I'm telling you, just chill. Ah, we, I end up arguing with the niggas. We going back and forth. They spin, like, my brother, uh, like, my school, my brother block right there down the block. So I'm thinking anything happened, all right, I'm going to sturdy up, do what I got to do. <laughs> go to my brother block, go to yeah. my brother, feel me? So. Nothing ain't really like transpired, but through all that, we was like, I went to school with like two of them niggas, so we was bumping heads in school, and then it was talk like, oh, I just heard like from different niggas like, yo, when Chef pull up, our eyes lit when you see Chef, our eye, whatever. My eye guy had. It's like it was like a, mad, a couple of turn of events. We end up I end up clicking with them niggas. I yeah. told you, I was cool with certain ones, and certain ones was just weird. I just felt they was on some weird shit. Yeah. So by the time I get to meet Chef, we just got mad cool. And Word. now we don't even fuck with them niggas, and it's just us. <laughs> Word. So, yeah, that, that's crazy how that shit happened here. Yeah, nah, Word. that's what's up, man. Nah, Cap saying that you, you was a real one and you was down to shit. Yeah, yeah I was square me, up. I stood on my shit. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. like. Yeah. So. Nah, nah, that's what's up, man. Nah, it, it's crazy when scenarios like that happen, or like when you got scenarios where, you know what I mean, some cats might connect you. And then y'all don't fuck with the people yeah, that connected y'all. Yeah, you don't fuck with the niggas who connected y'all. Yeah, that's, you know what that's I mean? how it be. Yeah. Your day ones don't gotta be day ones, niggas you know. Cause you could have a day one, you know them your whole life. And then the reason why that's your day one is cause y'all known each other for so long. Yeah. But then I get into a situation and he don't do some day one shit. Yeah. But the nigga you met a week ago, I get into a situation the next week and he showed you he a real nigga, he stood on his shit. Right. For me, that we had to do so. Right, right, right. Hey. So now, um, a lot of people, you know, categorize you as, as a drill rapper, but mm -hmm. like when I listen to your music, like it's so many different styles and so many different sounds. Like, what's your thoughts on that, on being considered a drill rapper? I don't really consider myself a drill I, Like when I first started rapping, it was drill, yeah. But as I like grew more as a rapper, I was like, like I said, I've been fucking with music since I was like 14, 13. I was just writing this shit, the stupid shit. Yeah. But I always had love for music, so yeah, I started with the drill shit. But my love for music, when I wanted to be an artist, like I'm real, feel me making music and shit. So I had so much people looking at me over the drill. I'm like, if I switch my shit, I ain't gonna it was fake. Ah, what if I switch my shit? These niggas like, oh, this nigga wildin'. We yeah. ain't bumping this nigga. So I mean, I took the chain, switched my shit up, and that shit went crazy and all my drill shit, all that. So yeah. As motivation for me to keep doing what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up, man. And what's your thoughts on people saying that, like, drill music, like, is kind of, is dying out or is, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I mean, uh, some people just don't know how to digest this shit. Like, drill music to me is just like, what older, like, the older heads will look at as, like, 50 Cent, Jay Z, and Nas, all of them back then, because they was talking street shit. Right. They, it's, it's gangster music. Drill music is gangster music. It's just the beat changed now. So it's, I mean, they call it, and then the name changed too. They call it drill music. Yeah. That's all it is, though. So word. they just can't digest this shit. Yeah, word, okay. word. So um, when you dropped uh, Deep End Freestyle, um, did you know that, like, that was going to go as crazy as it went? Nah, I forgot what song, I forgot what album that was. But it was another song on that album that I did, and I thought that was going to be the one. Drop all them shits off. Deep end turned out to be in the shit that for me went crazy. So yeah. yeah, I wasn't expecting that one. Word, word. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's why it's so important too, like to really be like in tune with your fans and be willing to listen to your fans and let them kind of help you to dictate like what's gonna mm -hmm. be 
a single or you know what I'm saying, whatever whatever's gonna be like the next joint you're gonna push. Nah, word. Gonna tell you. Word. Yeah. Do you feel like really in tune with your fans? Like, yeah, hell yeah. Sometimes I even respond to some of them. Right. Like if I see a certain message, I respond. Yeah. Yeah, real shit. I like a like one of the pictures they tag me and using my caption or some yeah. shit like. Yeah, right, I feel right. like that's important to be tapped in with the fans. Just something that you see. Yeah. If I see it, nah, for me, nine times out of ten, I'm going to show them some love back. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And then how do you respond, like, to the hate online and to, you know what I'm saying, the critics? Like, that should be funny. They be all them little jokes. That should just be funny to me. Like, yeah. I don't really be caring for that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. right. So um, you dropped your album, Boy Meets World. And... I think that was like the first album you had, like you, you had about like maybe like a year where you hadn't, you know, where you hadn't dropped nothing. Yeah, facts. Um, and, I, and I know, you know, you had been locked up for a little mm-hmm. bit. Was it like really important for you when you came back home? Like to- Yeah, hell yeah. Even before, like I even turned myself in, I was trying so hard to like close out the album just so I could drop it and then turn myself in. Right. But it was like, it was so much shit going on, like mentally, like in my life and shit. So. Yeah. It was just hard to get the music together so fast. Yeah. So I ended up turning myself in. I had a couple songs already. I think I dropped one when I was in jail. And when I came out, I just tried my best to finish that shit up. Okay, word, word. Yeah, yeah I was going to ask you, like, was the process where when you came home, did you already have stuff done and just have to Hell touch it up? no, I ain't have shit done. I was writing in jail, came home. I'm like, I'm in a stool. I'm spinning shit. That shit. I'm like, uh, cut that shit. We going to just try to make new shit. Cause that shit was ass. I ain't going to yeah. lie. Yeah. That shit was garbage to me, like, and I, I don't know. It was fire when I was in there. I'm rapping this shit in my head. I'm like, oh yeah, this is about to be some pain. Yeah. Nah, I don't. Right. I couldn't focus in there. I couldn't really, for me, sturdy up. Yeah, nah, I can dig it. I mean, I could imagine, I mean, your mind in so many different places. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember, do you remember your mindset when you was in there, like on some of them nights? Like, what, you know what I mean? Like what you was thinking about, like. Nah, I just used to, like, I just, I don't know. I just kept my, like. Once you get like a routine, you ain't even tripping no more. And like, it's not like, it's different. Yeah. Like, it depends. Your mindset depends on your situation. Yeah. If you got a date already, nine times out of ten, you gonna be more like, all right, I'm just sturdying up. Yeah. For me, doing my shit, get my routine. For me. Yeah. If I gotta step, and I'm stepping. Other than that, I ain't fucking with nobody. But if you just in there, you don't got no, you don't got no date to be home. You just. And I'm trying to tell you you want some bullshit because you don't know when you come home from. Right, right, right. I, like, fortunately, I had a date, so. Right, had yeah. something to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, facts. Yeah, no, I can dig it. And what was the energy like in there? Because, like, I mean, I'm, d- did a lot of people know you in there? Yeah, was yeah it? facts. Cause I, that's in the town, so yeah. I had niggas knew me. So I was really chilling, like. Yeah. Was like, was like niggas trying to come up to you, ask you to rap? And yeah, like, that was to... the funniest shit, though, because niggas was garbage. <laughs> Or bro, me and my son used to have like make niggas rap battle for all types of shit. Like yeah. food or like gangster. So shit like that. We just made it like it ain't fun to be in there, but you gotta make it like you just gotta live. Yeah. Fuck you. You can't be just sitting in there depressed and shit. Yeah, word, yeah. word. And do you remember the first thing you did when you came back home? When you got home? First thing I did. Yeah. Oh, I know, I went out to eat with the guys. Okay. They had scooped me up, went out to eat and shit. I was chilling. Right. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I can dig it. I already know, like, shit, all them days you just anticipating, like, man, as soon as I get out. As soon as I get out this bitch. <laughs> I'm geeking. Yeah, man. Word. Word. So, so you came home and, you know, like, really got on top of yeah. recording this album. Um, really got intentional with it, like, just really on top of it. Like, what was the process like actually recording? Like, was it easy to get back in the studio and nah, get back in into the your beginning, routine? in the beginning, it definitely wasn't. In the beginning, I've had like, writer's block. I was like, mm. and like to, I had that before, but to like get past that, I stopped writing. I just started going through beats with my producer and just going in there and just whatever come to my mind, I'm on that. Yeah. Give me so. I came home, I'm trying to hit the store. I'm like, yo, I got to put this work in, put this work in. And it was just like, I'm making shit and I ain't happy with it. Cause like yeah. the way I do, I work on the song, one song for like 24 hours until I'm happy with the shit. I don't okay. care. I'm making shit and I ain't happy with none of this shit. So I'm just, I took a little break from the stool. Came back, I started getting the flow again. Uh, I just, boom. Once I got in the groove, I just started wilding, making, track after track. Yo, what's up with you? 
Snoopy wilder right now. Hey, he on alert. He so much you can. So did you get into like a routine that helped you to like get out of your writer's block? Like was it something that you started doing to kind of help you to? Um, nah, not really because like my music just depend on like the type of mood I'm in. Yeah. So I was just, I'm just like, fuck it, I'm chilling. Just take a little break. Maybe I'm too much going on in my mind and shit, so. Yeah. Took a little break, went back. It was like, it was pretty much easy after I took a little break. Sometimes you just gotta step away from shit, take a step back and just go right back in that shit. Yeah, word. word. Nah, I can dig it, man. And the album seemed like really personal, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah definitely. Really... I got more, a little more personal on some songs. Like, like I said, I feel like I'm growing as an artist, so I'm like, it's different when you, from the rapper shit, like, when you write your own shit. Yo, Snoop. Hey, Trevor, what you want, bro? Good. Hey, he tweaking. I say he trim. He trim right now. Snoop trim. He high. <laughs> Make it tweaking. Go ahead, bro. Make it tweaking. Now we back though. His eyes tripping. But, yeah, so, no, 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 you good, you good. But yeah, nah, I was just talking about just getting, you know, more personal on the album. Yeah, yeah, that. definitely digging more personal. Like, I just feel like it's just nothing like, my music is like therapy. So it's like, I just be saying, I don't care to say the, the, the fucked up part of my shit, the lit part, I'm just putting all my shit in my music. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I can dig it. And uh, songs like Anxiety, like ADHD, like, I mean, just the titles, like, it was like, damn, okay, bro, really tapping into, you know, like, some of these things, like, yeah. that he, you know, that he dealing with. Nah, um, nah. But the song Anxiety was, like, really, like, a, a just, just a different vibe, a different sound, really dope. Um, how'd you connect with Dolce on that song? And, and it's crazy, because me and I still ain't even talk to this day. Oh, word. Yeah, on bro, that was, like, through, <laughs> I took the sample off the internet, I seen it. I'm like, this shit fire, I gotta do something with this. Send it to my producer. Yeah. We did this, she cooked it up, we did the song. And it was just like, she, we sent it to her and she approved it. I guess through like email, whatever, through the own um, management. Yeah. We ain't never like speak, me and her though. So, mm -hmm. I fuck off for approving that shit though. That shit meant a lot, so. Word, word. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up, man. Uh, another one of my favorite songs on the project is, is uh, Motion. Motion, yeah, 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 he was telling me. Yeah. That was one of my, when I made it at, the, at that time, that was one of my favorites. I'm thinking, yo, that's, that's going to be the shit for this. Word. Yeah, so. Word. So if you could tell somebody, you know, a song or two that they should listen to, you know what I mean, that really represents the project, represents you, like, what would you tell folks to listen to? I should fuck with um, self-control. Okay. It ain't really no drill, but it's like, you'll yeah. get it. If you, if, you, if, you, if you get it, you get it. Like, yeah. You just got to listen. Okay, yeah. word, word. Purple Heart was another one that I liked. Too. Yeah, that was like you ended. The that might have been the last song I made. Okay, and I just added that. I'm like, yo, yeah, I got you. Word, word. Yeah. And what's the significance of purple? Because like I noticed, like a lot of y'all artwork. it's like nah, no funny shit. It's like I, cause I never really had no favorite color. No. Okay. I'd rather die. My go-to is just black. Word. I don't know when I started using that purple shit. Yeah. That shit just stuck with me. I got that shit on my chain yeah, now. Man. <laughs> They Ain't say so. purple is the color of royalty. Yeah, and so. then I, years after that, after that, I thought I started fucking with the color. It was just putting that shit on everything. Yeah. I looked it up like, what the fuck? You know, shit have a meaning. Yeah. It's a royalty, so that shit just made me want it wow. even more. Right, right. Yeah. And then, like, your artwork is always, like, really distinct, really dope. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, are you, like, really involved? Yeah, like, definitely. In, in every step. Art? I'm involved in every step. Okay. Word, word. First and, and are you drawing any of it? No, 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 I ain't okay. drawing none of it. I ain't gonna lie. Word. I'm in, definitely involved in every step, giving them ideas, yeah. telling them pretty much like how to go about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, word. And then on the project, you got two tracks uh, featuring Marshmello. Yeah, yeah that's bro. That kind of yeah, came shit, so. I was seeing that nigga growing up. I see shit from him, and I don't like. Who is this nigga? What is like? What he do type shit? Yeah. But he, I just know in his category or what he in. I say he a legend in his category. So. Word. Yeah, that's how, definitely fire. Um, me and my son John, we did the um, we did fucking, we did some sample. Did the ah, you went crazy ah. I'm like yo, who who shit is this? Who's that sample? I it's that Selena Gomez, Marshmello produced it. I'm like yeah, it's over. I don't even know why I did this song. It's done. <laughs> Selena gonna be like what? You hear this? We hear what this nigga talk about? It's over. 
they cleared it though. Like Marshmallow hit niggas like, yo, he he ready to be a part of this. He'll come shoot the video with me. You see, we did the video. Right, yeah. So like, gangsta, he fuck with me heavy. Word, right. nah, yeah. that's hard, man. That's have bro. you have you ever done a have you ever done a show like at one of his? Nah, uh, but he he um took me to one of his shits in Vegas. Okay. Shit, cause that shit. Ooh. I mean, that's a whole Molly other music. level. They in that bitch like. Psh, psh. Yeah, bro. Wild it on, bro. I'm like, nah, I gotta come to one of these shits by myself. See what's going on. <laughs> nah, oh, bro, that shit was final. Yeah, nah, for real, man. I mean, that crowd, I mean, that, 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 that would be crazy. So I couldn't imagine, you know what I'm saying, like how that crowd would react yeah. to you and your music. You nah, know? that's a fact. Shout out to Mark, bro. Yeah, nah, that's bro. That's for sure, it. for sure. And then Perky Man, um, y'all uh, sample time for the percolator, which tripped me out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I hate, I hate when niggas bring that song up because I was trolling. I was trolling and I just said, fuck it, I'm going to throw that shit on it. Fuck it. That's funny, man. Nah, man. Um, and then, uh, you know, I was one of the people, man, you know, I'm always, when I see these double XL covers, man, I'm always talking oh, shit. I'm always <laughs> like, man, y'all missed this person. Y'all, y'all ain't up on this person. See, and you was a person who... For a couple of years, I saw, you know, I mean, I felt like you and Chef should have been on a few of them. But then I heard that, you know, you uh, passed up on like yeah, the last one where they offered you. See, just like what you said, like, yo, people missed out. I, I, it could have been a pride thing, but I, I like to stand on the way I feel. So I dubbed it because I felt like there's mad people like you who felt like I was been yeah. supposed to be on it. And it made me kind of feel like I was supposed to be on it. So I told him, no, I ain't really care for this shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nah, yeah. I could dig it, man. Because, I mean, just like, because if you would have been on the cover, then everybody would have been like, oh, man, he should have been on there. He should have yeah. been like all your fans. Nah, facts. You know what I mean? So, um, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with standing on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Uh, real shit. You know? I mean, at the end of the day, like, I feel like as a creative, as an artist, like, you got to know what your brand is mm -hmm. and stand on that shit. You know what I'm Not saying? Real shit. Like, win, lose, or draw. You know nah, what I'm broke. And you don't stand for shit and you falling for everything. Yeah, nah, I'm real broke. shit, man. So what would you say, bro, is one of the like um, biggest life lessons that you've learned, you know, today? Biggest life lessons? I say being myself, real shit, because it's easy to get like, it's easy to be influenced by the shit that's going on around you. Yeah. Like, so I say, no matter what you're doing, rapping, playing ball, whatever it is, nigga, just be yourself. Yeah. Nigga, niggas don't fuck with you for you, they ain't, ain't fucking with you at all. So. Yeah. Real shit. Word. Nah, I can dig it. I can dig it. Man, are there any artists that you um, have aspired to work with? Like, that you, you know what I mean? Like, got kind of on your wish list, your bucket list type shit? Nah, not really. I be fucking who be fucking with me. Like, yeah, I good. listen to niggas, I ain't gonna cap. Like, I don't listen to niggas, but yeah. I be fucking who be fucking with me, you know? It used to be weird. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I can dig it, man. And, um, yo, Snoop, what you on, bro? You trying to talk? You trying to ask my son Snoop a question, bro? Like, <laughs> how you living, Snoop? Yo, you know what I mean? I was like, bro, you ain't <laughs> steak and shit. You ain't a regular dog. Man, so. Get back. We at the we at the end of the year, the end of 2023. You got a birthday coming up. Yeah, yeah, you got any, You got any plans? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I'm doing something this year though. Word, Probably word. go somewhere. Yo, was you um one of the, was, was you one of them people as a kid like you know parents try to cheat you out of the birthday and Christmas? Hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> Yo, look, uh, this for your birthday and Christmas. Right. Whole lot. You know what I mean? Nigga, socks. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> nah. I wasn't yeah. tripping though. I ain't really watch it like that growing up. I ain't really. Yeah. yeah. Word. Nah, I could dig it, man. Um. Are you a New Year's resolution type of guy? Hell no, I be on the same shit. Yeah. I said, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I got goals and shit. Okay. Yeah, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. But you ain't no New Year, I ain't New Me no like, type of New it. Year, niggas be frying. <laughs> yeah, nah, real shit, real shit. Um, and so, like, what, what else can we, uh, what else you got coming up, bro? Like, what else, um, what else coming down the pipeline, man? Top of the year, I'm trying to fucking have, a, like, two albums ready. I feel like I gotta flood them with music. Like, oh, you push my son. <laughs> nah. Nah. Nah, Gangsta though. <laughs> Gangsta though, I'm trying to have like two albums ready for the top of the year. Yeah. Fucking, um, they cooking on my tour right now. My team finishing on my tour. So I'm definitely trying to start touring top of the year too. Okay. 
Yeah, just pressure. That's all I got. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. And um, you got any? Uh, you got any shout outs that you wanna uh, that you wanna give? Shout out to the winners, man. If you ain't a winner, you ain't no shit. What's up, yes, man? Appreciate you jumping off the porch with us, bro. Nah, that's a fact. What's up, man? Yeah. 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 Look, shit got me tripping. Fighting with my demons and my demons is winning. I feel like don't nobody ever feel how I feel. And I ain't never sober, baby girl. I get hot still. She said, boy, don't 